Next we have the spline function. You should look at the help page for this function as for all functions. The spline function takes in two vectors. So here's the x coordinates of my data set. Here's the y coordinates of my data set. And you could just leave it at that, um, but if you don't want to use the default, you can also specify how many points you want out. What do I mean by that? Let me run this and just let it print its output onto the screen. I gave only three data points where the x's were 1, 2, and 3, and the y's were 3, 16, and 6. But what Spline has done is filled in the values in between them, trying to connect the dots, trying to make a curve that goes through the points that I created. So this last argument here, this n, specifies how many points I want. So how many points in between the data points I provided should be filled in. If I say 9, then the total length of the vector of x's and the vector of the y's will be 9. What can I do with that? Well, let me save the output of this um, as spline out so that I can access the attributes, right? I could access just spline out x or I could access spline out y. Here's the plot that I had created originally or that I could have created originally just based on these three data points that I provided. It's just the original data points. And let me add, using the points command, the x's and y's from the spline function. I'm going to say type equals l so that I get a line. I'm going to make it red because why not? And there's what my spline function did here. I connected the dots. You should explore this function as you do your assignments.